If you love beef jerky, we all know it's probably not so great for us with nitrates, lots of sodium, uh, meats not being so healthy. Have you seen recently in your stores portobello jerky, which is mushroom jerky? So they're really, really tasty. They just take mushrooms, dry them out with, you know, different flavorings and they end up looking like this. Mm. They taste like meat. But you know what? If you don't want to buy these because they tend to be really super expensive, I just take some mushrooms. You can make this yourself at home. Any mushroom you want. I just take a, a button mushroom. I'm going to cut it into slices. The thinner the better, the shorter time it cooks. So what you want to do is take those mushrooms, about eight ounces, put them into a baggie, and then any seasonings you want. You could do like a Caesar salad dressing in there. I'm gonna do just a hoisin sauce because I love Asian. Just about a tablespoon, that's all you need. Not much, so you're not adding a lot of sodium. Teriyaki or hoisin. And then just mix this up, shake it a little bit, and then you're gonna refrigerate it for a few hours just until the sauce really penetrates the mushrooms nicely. Then once they've done this, I've already had these marinating for a few hours. You see what happens? Because the liquid of the mushrooms also uh, helps just with more moisture. We're gonna put it onto a cookie sheet. All right, you can see all that extra liquid, not to worry. This is gonna go into an oven of about 300 degrees. If you start noticing it burning, just turn it down to 275 for about an hour and cook it as long as you want and until as chewy as you like it. These are great homemade, a quarter of the cost and really delicious as a beef jerky, but a vegetarian source. Now, take a look. It takes a lot of mushrooms to make some mushroom jerky, but these are so good and so delicious. It's so worth it. Mm, way better than munching on beef jerky. You gotta try this.